The Irish potato famine was a horrific tragedy in the mid-1800s that laid waste to much of Ireland, led to many deaths, led to a ruined Irish economy, and also led to growing hatred for the British. However, it also caused many good changes to both Ireland and America in the long run. Without the famine, neither America, Ireland, or the world would be what they are today. In 1845, a fungus-like infestation took hold on the Irish potato crop and began killing and infecting crops all over the country. In just one year, half of all the potato crop was killed due to the famine. Over the next seven years, over three-fourths of the potatoes were killed due to the famine. The loss of the potato crop was a huge hit on the Irish food supply. Even though the potatoes were a large portion of the Irish diet and it was their main supply of food, the Irish did also make other foods like beets and turnips. However, the British, who ruled the island at the time, confiscated all other food sources that they could have survived on, which, in turn, allowed one million people to die. This caused great distrust and hatred toward the British. There were some relief efforts that were meant to help the Irish survive the famine. One of the most donated foods, Indian corn, was too tough for the Irish to digest because of their main potato diet. So many Irish people had difficult times eating, and some even died from not being able to digest the tough grains. Other than that, Ireland's economy was in shambles, and to keep the economy strong, the British had to start up many public works programs. However, during these public works programs, the Irish people did not make nearly enough money, and some fainted, and some even starved to death on the job. Throughout the famine, one million of the 8.5 million population of Ireland was killed due to starvation. Because of the famine, two million people were forced to leave Ireland to move to new countries. Many families went to America in search of a better life, but most only found suffering. As they were not used to the large-scale farming, so they were forced to find any work that they could. For years, the Irish population did all they could to survive in America. They endured much hardship and discrimination for taking many jobs for very low pay. But the many Irish families found a way to endure it, and over time, the Irish American communities became more and more prosperous in America. However, back in Ireland, the people were struggling to survive on their new diets, which consisted of hardly any potatoes, and mostly of tough grains. Also, since the Irish now made little money and the public works programs were not working very well, they did not have enough money to buy food, and so many people had to starve themselves just to survive. Many years after the famine, Ireland fought Britain. The war started for many reasons, including the growing distrust and hatred of the British for not giving as much aid as they could have during the famine. Even though the Irish were in the middle of a famine, the British still took much of the food the Irish people made just to feed the soldiers in Britain. Because of this, Ireland went to war with Britain in 1919. Finally, a year after the war ended, in 1922, the two nations came to an agreement and they both signed a treaty to make Ireland an independent nation so that the British no longer held any influence over the people of Ireland and the nation itself. In 1960, over 100 years after the famine ended, the Irish in America have made great strides in becoming a more prosperous people in the nation. And one direct descendant of some immigrants from the Irish potato famine named John F. Kennedy became president and he changed America and the world forever. Without the immigration of the Irish due to the potato famine, John F. Kennedy may never have become president and America may have never landed on the moon first and made that one giant leap for mankind. America also may never have pushed for more African American rights and more women's rights, two things that John F. Ken Kennedy was adamant about. In conclusion, the Irish potato famine was a tragedy that caused change to the entire world. Although the famine was a tragedy that killed many innocent people and crippled Ireland's growth for a long time, it caused the Irish people to rise up against the British due to their hatred from the famine, and this allowed Ireland to become an independent country. It also led to the immigration of around 2 million Irish immigrants to America who were looking for better lives away from the famine. Almost all of these Irish immigrants were forced to endure much hardship and discrimination from many other white Americans, and they also had to live in tenants and ghettos for most of their lives. However, after a long time, the Irish immigration from the famine later led to JFK becoming president 
And without that, America may never have become the country that it is today. Without the famine, neither country would be what they are now. Thank you.